Music is a vocal or instrumental sound, or both, combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form, harmony, and expression of emotion. Whether it is to soothe a piercing internal pain or to enhance a feeling of excitement, on average, Americans spend 32 hours a week listening to music. Why do we listen to music? How do our emotions project onto the music we listen to? So, we decided to ask some people. What type of music do you listen to? Um, mostly reggaeton. Uh, r and I like pop music. There are many different types of music genres, but this is also one of them too. So for instance, I'm going to play you my Daddy Yankee radio station. Anyways, how does music affect our emotions? Why do you decide to listen to music? Um, it I, soothes me, it inspires creative thought, um, it introduces me to things I may not have considered before. If I'm feeling kind of sad, I'll probably listen to reggaeton because it makes me happy. Or if I'm like in a good mood, I also like listen to it because it's like upbeat and fun. No, no, I listen to different playlists. Like I have my different types of music for like my different moods. Sometimes I like need certain songs to get into a mood. And so you think that music affects your mood? A lot, yeah. It really affects me a lot. Like sometimes if I'm feeling sad, I can like listen to like sad music, like my sad, play, like sadder music and yeah. it'll make me a little sad. But a lot of times I try and listen to a little like happier music and it like actually like, cheers me up more. Or if I'm getting excited, if I'm nervous for something, a lot of times I listen to like really like exciting music yeah. and I get like more energetic. So, how do our emotions project onto the music we listen to? One possibility is that once we understood what the emotional content of the music is, it activates a population of brain cells called mirror neurons. These cells mentally stimulate behaviors that we perceive in the world around us and that helps us with social understanding and empathy. In this case, they allow us to empathize with the emotion of the music, triggering the same emotions in us by activating the limbic system, the emotional part of the brain. Another theory has it that the beat of rhythms and the frequency of sound waves actually drive the intrinsic oscillations of neurons in the brain. Through auditory stimulation, music can drive neurons to fire at a specific rate, as though our brains were resonating to a beat and that sets our overall mood. Could music simply be a way for humans to intensify a certain emotion? I don't normally turn to like, like country music or trap music or things like that to satisfy me. Um, but uh, generally speaking, yeah, I'm going to listen to anything that is uh, intriguing and suiting my mood. Sometimes that's up, sometimes that's down. Um, I, like, I like music that's layered. I like music that has a lot of complex elements that are going at once. Does it vary um, according to your mood? Absolutely, yeah. I think that it, not only does the choice in what I choose to listen to vary according to my mood, but also I'll like deliberately choose the music that will adapt my mood. So if I know that I'm in a funk, I'm gonna like put on some funk. Oh, I did that deliberately, that's cool. Yeah, no, that wasn't <laughs> deliberate at all. But yeah. So uh, I, will, I will choose music that, thank you for laughing, that was a terrible joke. Uh, I will choose music that will affect how I'm feeling. When do you choose to listen to each one? Depends on like my mood or like what I want to listen to. Like if I'm studying, I listen to my study music. Okay. I just want to like hang out. I don't know. It depends. And do you think music affects your mood? Yeah. Like, does it help? Yeah. Like if I'm happy, it'll get me happy. If I'm sad, it'll get me sad. Well, like for instance, if I'm in like in a really happy mood, I'll play something that just kind of keeps me in a happy mood. And like if I'm in a sad or like mellow mood, I'll play something like low, soft, like. Very chill. And then if I'm like, if it's before one of my games, I'll be like hype 100%. It'll be like rap, it'll be trap, it'll be hip hop, everything in between. Our emotions are projected upon the daily life experience of listening to music. As we have seen, people have the propensity to listen to playlists that are here with their current emotions. We can learn a lot about an individual based on the type of music one might listen to.